Welcome back, my internet friends. It's your girl, Jerry Tolliver here, CEO of Flat Credit. And we're here today for another student of the month. Today, we're gonna be highlighting July's student of the month. And uh, this student of the month shows up like they all do, right? They make it happen. And I've been so pleased to um, see the student success. Not only the student success, but um, how she interacts with other people in the group and how she asks so many amazing questions that make people feel like, oh, I didn't even think about that. She asks questions that I don't even think about sometimes. But that's the that's the joy in having different types of people in the university, different type of students with different type of goals. Uh, and I wanted to bring Michelle by today to share her story uh, that she's had in the university and just tuning into the education, uh, putting the education to use and having success is so inspiring. And so I wanted her to drop by here today to inspire you to make some drastic changes in your life today as well. So, hey, Michelle, welcome. <laughs> Hello. Um, so glad to have you here. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, I keep telling uh, everybody in secret that me and Jerry are going to be best friends. So we're getting closer, like we're inching forward in our relationship. I love that. <laughs> I love that. You know, it, it, for me, the university, um, it really is about creating relationships. I, for me, I am a big fan of relationships. That's something that's very important to me. And so that's one of the main reasons why I created the university was because I don't want y'all to just buy courses and then just disappear. I want us to be a happy family. <laughs> I want us to be friends. So thank you so much for joining us and being a part of something great. Thank you. Um, you have touched every aspect of my life. Mm -hmm. um, and so... I'm pretty sure you're going to ask me questions, <laughs> which is why I'm here. But literally every aspect of my life has been improved by you in one way or, or another. So thank you. Oh, that's encouraging. So tell the people, where are you from? All right. So I'm originally from New York, but I've been in Atlanta so long that New, that New York no longer claims me. So, um, so I'm currently in Metro Atlanta, uh, Northeast. No one actually knows the town that I live in, but uh, I'm really close. My 20 minutes away. Like 20 so, minutes away. Yeah. So like, I claim, I be claiming a lot of stuff that ain't mine, but it's fine. <laughs> like Chicago. Like some people live in Chicago, but some people live like on the outskirts of Chicago, but they still yeah. say they live in Chicago. It's kind of like that. Because if someone asks you where you live, and you're like, oh, I live in Pembroke Pines. They're like, where is that? Oh, it, it's right. Chicago. <laughs> that is true. So sometimes we'll say like Chicago land area, but that's still not specific. So yeah, Atlanta. Exactly. <laughs> if I still feel the traffic, then I live in Atlanta. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what was life like before you ran across Fly Credit? So... um, I think I initially found you on someone else's podcast or something and you had this pretty blue background right and you you, you had the hair go and all this I was like who is this lady I think it was his and her money actually um and it, it was a much larger conversation and the interview was just too short for me so then I had to go on YouTube and I had to figure out who this crazy Jerry lady was right and so prior to actually signing up for your, for, your, for your services, not only the university. Luckily, it was around Black Friday. So I got every single thing that you offered at that time. Perfect. Because uh, it was around Black Friday. And so I had about low fives credit score, personal credit score, right? Um, and when I, again, you have touched every aspect of my life. So I'm also a business owner, right? Uh, a, str a struggling business owner I was until I met you, right? And so I had a low 500. You can't do nothing with no low 500, right? I had a house. I have a house. I had a car at the time, and I still have a car. Um, so I didn't really need credit, but I still wanted to be able to go to the store and be able to buy something and not have that uh, panic attack, you know, when the person's like, oh, let me just take your, your social, you get 10% off at Kohl's. All we need to do is check your uh your thing. And I'd be like, then you know, then I gotta be embarrassed with the baby next to me, like, ma'am, we're not gonna do this to each other. You don't gotta embarrass me like that's rude. That's rude. You don't gotta embarrass me like that. Um, and so I, I wanted to eliminate that out of my life. 
I also knew, minus what the guru say, that I needed good personal credit to be able to do the things in the business that I wanted to do to, to leverage that aspect of it, right? And so I had to start with me. It, it, it didn't make sense. Um, well, my birthday's next week. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 30 something years old. I'm the 32 now. I don't know why I had to think about that. I'm 32 now. Uh, my son thinks I'm 25. We're not going to correct him. And, um, you know, it's, I'm, 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 too, I'm too grown for this. I'm too grown for 500. So um, long story short, I, I, I signed up with you. I got the whole universe. I told you about everything. I actually initially didn't use any of it because I was like, oh, she do this for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to do this, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so um, you pretty much took care of everything for the do it for me services as far as clearing, clearing everything up. But now I'm in build mode. It was around December and I was debating about what to do for my child for kindergarten for school. Mm -hmm. and uh, again I'm, I'm from New York and I'm not from like Buffalo New York I'm from South Jamaica Queens New York Baisley Projects right um and so I only had the option of public school right <laughs> that was my only option and so as a single parent raising this boy metro Atlanta I'm trying to do big things living paycheck to paycheck you know I like to help everybody so everybody asking me for money doing this doing that my credit is shot and I'm like, my son has to go to kindergarten. Granted, I live in a good neighborhood, a good neighborhood. I didn't know what those school scores meant <laughs> until it was too late. Because I thought the good, the higher the number, the better it was. But that's actually not what it means. Uh, after talking to these people in these elementary schools, get it together, ladies. Um, so I was like, I want my kid to go to private school. I didn't want my kid to go to any private school. I wanted my kid to go to the private school in the state. Uh, so I was listening to Jerry on one of our huddles. And that day I got $25,000 in a Navy Federal credit card. We're talking going from a 510, 505 credit score to at the time it was like mid 600s. Now I'm like 720 something, 730. We're talking about 510 no aspirations of getting approved from Dollar Tree for nothing to a $25,000 card that was able to just open my mind as to the possibilities of, of providing my son. The reason why I live, I know that's cliche, <laughs> but for real, it really is. Like the reason why I do everything, staying up to two o'clock in the morning, working here, working there, doing this, flipping burgers, <laughs> whatever I got to do, right? Um... He now actually goes to that school that I wanted him to go to. I'm not even using the credit at this point because I was able to use the credit to leverage it to make more money. I didn't even need the credit card. Wow. But all that is because of Jerry. Long-winded explanation. But um, like for real, like, like Jerry is like the coal company. It's amazing. You know, I love that because, you know, we we don't do this for us really. Like, we do it for the people that are counting on us mostly. And for you to go from having 500 credit scores and not even really thinking about getting approved to getting approved for probably one of your highest lines to date is phenomenal. And, and then leveraging federal for 25,000. Wow. And we're working on Amex. I told you what happened with Amex. Yeah. We're working on it. Yeah, we're working um, on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I have over... $75,000 in credit cards right now. That's I don't use it, but it's there. I have the option. Yep. Right. And that's what it's about. It's about having the option. It's about not being scared to apply for the card and not being scared to use the card and having a plan for the card is what it's all about so that you don't get into unnecessary debt and, you know, oh my God, drive your finance to the ground. I've been there, done that. Uh, and that's something that I never wanted for my students. I just wanted you all to be successful. I want you all to succeed. I want you all to get the credit, leverage it, make money, and you know, help it benefit your your children, your family, the people that you really care about. So that's amazing. Like, so what are your what are your goals now? Like, what's the next steps for Michelle? Okay, so another wonderful aspect of Fly Credit University, or just Jerry in general is that um, she has the pro side of it. And so what I've been doing is, um, and I'm not gonna name any names, but um, 
almost every single person she's brought on, except for the person today, because I haven't had time to log onto the computer and do it yet. I have followed up with these people and built relationships with these people to the point where now I have access to business funding. I have access to grants to the point where I don't need the business funding, <laughs> right? Because um, grants are amazing. And if you spend a little bit, you can get a lot. Just saying. Um, Jerry has a allowed me to come in contact with these people that I trust, right? I'm in other business groups, big groups, huge groups. Um, but quantity isn't always quality. And I don't trust those people, <laughs> right? Um, but the people that, that Jerry brings on uh, to, on the pro side are quality people. The education that Jerry gives on the business side, um, as far as the building the business credit and things like that, you, you, you can go on YouTube and find out information, but Jerry breaks it down and she makes it tangible. And then when we're meeting every other week, um, we, we can actually say, hey, I did this and it didn't work, or hey, I did this and it did work. And so we're all growing together, excuse me, <clears throat> versus the other groups I'm a part of, it's like more transactional relationships instead of transformational relationships. And uh, I don't have any more time for transactional relationships. <laughs> None of us do. It's draining. It's it honestly is. draining. And I, I don't spend a lot of time on social media and I'm not in any groups. And the only reason why I'm not is because I do find that that's kind of the common thing that you see online. You know, you'll see a lot of people giving a lot of information, but it's it's just information that sometimes doesn't even really apply. Um, and it's, you know, information that's in bits and pieces and it's incomplete. And that's not something I have interest in giving anybody. If, if I'm going to give you something, I'm going to give you something of true value that you can take and have success with. You're not going to think about it later or, you know, it's just not going to be that way because we want it to be, um, like you said, a transformational kind of relationship. So the fact that you show up every other, you show up every week, actually, you're in the, the huddle and you're in the huddle pro, you show up, you get the education, you have the success, you've been getting approved, you've, you've raised your credit scores, you've changed your life for you and your son in a matter of how long? Since November? Not, yeah, like not really even a whole year. It's not even been a whole year since Black Friday last year. Since last year. And now you went for 500 credit scores to over $70,000 in credit card, not that even debt. Preposterous. Preposterous. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's something that I wasn't even able to accomplish on my journey so fast, but that's the benefit, right? Of working with people that are on the same path with people that have already had the type of success that you want. It's just like shortcutting your way <laughs> to success. What would you say is your top your top lesson that you have learned in the university? Really? The top lesson that I have learned is to, to, to just show up. <laughs> and no, 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 like for real. Like, uh -huh. like it, it, it's, it's not like the, the shopping cart trick or this or that. It is show up. Mm -hmm. Don't have this mentality of I know because I know will cost you a fortune right even if you do know you don't know <laughs> just show up listen listen to people's stories make those connections because even though you may know the content you don't know everyone that's going to be there and you don't know how those people are going to impact your life so the main thing I've learned from being in your sphere of influence for the past almost year at this point, I told you we're gonna be best friends, is that, um, <laughs> is that you have to just show up and then ask dopey questions at eight o'clock at night. <laughs> you know? Just be like, hey, what about this random scenario? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love that um, because I ask that to every student that we do student of the month with. And I find that that's the common answer. It's, I learned about accountability. I learned about showing up and it's, it's, it's never, it's literally never the education in the university. It's never the education. It's never, well, I learned this lesson and I learned, it's never that. It's always, I learned the importance of showing up. I learned the importance of getting out of my own way, letting my ego 
be bigger than my bank account and my credit scores and making like real drastic transformational change. That's something that really does take effort. It's not something that just happens. And so the people that, that do come and we do do these, these student of the month interviews are people that are making it happen. These are people that are getting up, they're coming to the huddles at seven, eight o'clock at night. They're coming to our, our quarterly parties. They're having fun. They're connecting. Um, and it, we're creating relationships. So I, I love that. Like you never really always think about it that way, but every time I ask that question and I get that answer, it's like, it's like a confirmation. It's like a confirmation that accountability is needed for everybody. I need accountability. The well, trainer has the trainer has a trainer. Yeah. And so I, I wanted I wanted to add some perspective on that that I just got. Uh, we don't talk about money. We don't talk about credit. We don't talk about leverage. We don't really even talk about business. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really hard to be accountable in our traditional friend circles if that's not even in our lexicon. Right. And and that's no shade or anything because at the end of the day you don't know what you don't know and so I had asked my um, aunt who helped in rearing me to adulthood that's why I'm going to say that and um she was like we ain't talking about money because we have no money what are you talking about what are we gonna talk about <laughs> what are you talking we so it's like the, the the highest credit card uh she said she had was a finger hut card with a 500 hundred dollar limit on it <laughs> right and so it's, it's one of those things that she didn't know because her mother didn't know and no one knew because no one had any money mm -hmm. like so it's like it, that's really not a, a, a shade or whatever it's like you don't know what you don't know until you know and then once you know now you gotta do something about it. I know right I know <laughs> <laughs> how, could, how could you know and not do anything about it yeah because because now you got to do something about it. Like if, you, if you're listening to this, now you got to do something. About it. You ain't got a choice. And that's the point that that really is that kind of circles back to your point about influence. They do say that birds of a feather do flock together. And I do find that to be true. Like if you want to make a million dollars, you learn it from someone that's making a million dollars. If you want to learn how to have excellent credit scores and build business credit, you want to learn it from somebody that's already been there, done that. That's where you want to learn it from because it's hanging around Dick, Joe and Harry that's drinking every weekend and doing drugs and hanging out at clubs. It's not getting you any closer to your goals. It's not getting you any closer to your dream. It's not getting you any closer to what you said you wanted out of your life. It's not getting you any closer to that. So it's like, are you going to keep waiting or are you going to do something about it? And I am very appreciative when I have students that come in and they do something about it instead of waiting around, complaining, making excuses and blaming other people for their failures. It's not anyone else's fault. Yes, sure. Our parents could have taught us about credit. They could have taught us about money, but like you said, they didn't have any. <laughs> so they're gonna teach us you something that they don't have. And so that, that's why we built what we have. That's why the community is so strong because we're really on a path of having more, more than we ever had before. That's what it's about. Yep. Wow. So what would you say before we wrap this up? What would you tell the people that's considering, you know, I've been thinking about joining the Flag Credit University. I've been thinking about getting into the courses, but I'm not sure. Kind of sitting on the fence. I want to make a decision, but I'm scared. What would you tell that person today? In the words of Michelle A. Bassett, that's my name. Um, what you thinking about, <laughs> right? Um, if, if you want something different, you have to do something different. Oh. If you are in a situation where you currently don't need credit, that is the best time to do it. If you are in a situation where you need some credit and you can't get it, well, guess what? Jerry's going to help you. I don't understand the thought pattern of thinking anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry has gotten me to the point of showing up and taking action. And I struggle with that so long in my life. Again, birthday's next week, early 30s. Some things I'm 25, we're going to stick with it, right? 
So there's no need to think anymore. If you want your life transformed, it's not about credit, right? It's not even about money, really. If you want your life transformed, hang around different people. Stick around Jerry. Because again, I've, I know a lot of people who say they do credit repair. <laughs> I know a lot of people who say they do a lot of stuff. And um, Jerry is the only person that can get me to really take action at the level that I've taken action over the past however many months. Let, let's just say a year to round it off, right? Um, yeah, that's honestly the... I guess the simplest advice you can give somebody is just do it. Like, what do you have to lose other than bad credit, (laughs) right? You have nothing to lose. So, and everything to gain, you've gained relationships, you've gained credit limits, (laughs) you've gained, you've gained insight, you've gained a level of freedom, confidence, something that, I mean, it's just invaluable. I, I can't really put a price on that because freedom and confidence is just something that just doesn't, it does it doesn't just happen. It really does require action. You build confidence through action. You build confidence through having those small little wins. When you got your first $25,000 credit card, how did you feel? I ain't no punk because I'm a thug, but I cried a little bit. I cried just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, and it was, it was, it wasn't the money. It was the opportunity Mm -hmm. and it wasn't an opportunity for me, right? Um, I'm I'm a data analyst. I have a master's degree, right? It wasn't, it wasn't an opportunity for me. It was an opportunity for my son Mm -hmm. that without it, I wouldn't have been able to get it. Mm -hmm. And so again, I cried a little bit, but I don't be crying. Don't be thinking I'd be crying. It's okay. I won't tell you. It was was a little eyeball slit. That's how it was. It's our little secret. I won't tell nobody. Uh, for the people that's watching this, they don't know. <laughs> I really want to uh, just thank you and just show you some gratitude because um, you've been working really hard since November. It's August now. You've been working so hard. You've been showing up. You've been having success. You've been rooting other people on. Uh, and it's just been a delight to be able to see your transformation and see you grow. Uh, it's It's been Magical. I suspect the best way or the word I can use is magical. Uh, and I really do look forward to seeing more of your success, more of your stories, and just, you know, seeing you grow. That's like everything for me is just seeing my students grow. So thank you so much, Michelle. You're amazing. I love it. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> so that is today's student of the month interview. I hope y'all got some good insight and inspiration from our friend Michelle over in Atlanta, New York, Atlanta. Whichever one, whichever one you want to claim today. Uh, But if you all are ever thinking or considering about joining the university and joining the courses and getting educated and connected into our community of movers and shakers, then you can just visit us online at flyaccredit.com and check us out. You schedule a free consultation if you're a little unsure and you're not really sure where to get started. Or if you're really started, if you're ready to get started right now, then just click the enrollment button, sign up and get instant access today. Start learning today, start having success and results today because I want to see you win. We all want to see you win. And that's what we're here for is what we do. So again, my name is Jerry Tolliver, CEO of Fly Credit. And uh, thank you all for joining today's uh, interview with Michelle. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.